I think preservation in general is something that we're really trying to encourage, especially to the youth of today, because I don't think people really understand how important it is, because we're at a place right now in the world where there are so many incredible species of animals and everything that are not really going to be here for very long if we don't try and preserve them and protect them as hard as we can. And so I think that especially where I come from and where they visited before. It's something that's very, very prominent in everyday life. People are always very aware of the protection and stuff, but I have noticed around the world it's not something that people are talking about enough. And so we're trying to encourage that in every way that we can, whether it's through our music or our videos or our social media. Especially because where I grew up, I grew up when I was a kid, there, there were elephants everywhere. I remember seeing li like rhinos everywhere, and now you uh, it's very rare to see one in the wild. You know, you have to go to a specific preservation that has one, and so it's very sad to see what what has happened even in the past 10 years. So we just want to try and our hardest to make that not happen. Not a lot of people are really aware of the severity of the situation that's going on and it's yeah. something that we really need to spread to young generations because it's all about education in the yeah. end. It's worth nothing. Ivory is an elephant's way of destroying trees to eat them. It's worth nothing to people, you know, like a rhino horn. It's not an aphrodisiac. You know, the only way that people will learn how wrong it is, is when they learn that it's worth nothing. And so recently, Kenya actually did an incredible thing where they burnt 106 tons of ivory, including, I mean, they also had rhino horn and they had skins and everything. And I think we made a post about it on our social media and a lot of people, obviously, they don't really understand why they were burning it because it's such a like precious thing like why would yeah. you burn it why would you set it on fire why don't you sell it and use that money to help the animals and the thing is about that is that it's creating a market if you have it you know it's illegal it was illegally obtained obtained ivory which they confiscated and it was a statement just to just say this is it it's worth nothing it's an it's a bone you know it's not worth anything unless it's on the animal that's alive and so that's yeah. something that we're really trying to just encourage people to know is just try and be protective of our creatures we have. And it's hard because there is, there's most definitely like an imbalance issue because she didn't understand why people were commenting like why, like they didn't just, get it. Yeah. It's just not something we learn about here and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but it, it is something that we need to learn about. Mm -hmm. And we're not saying like, oh, if you don't know about this, like, it's not to be in your face. It's, it's to say like, hey, this is an issue that where other lives should, yeah. are affected. Mm -hmm. And it's not about us, it's about these animals and about what people are doing to these animals. And if you're not cool with it, then, you know, that's yeah. where we yeah. are somebody, somebody needs to say something. Exactly. Yeah. And we're not afraid to say something. Like, pe tree huggers and, like, environmentalists, like, get such a bad rep, but, like, but here, in this that's wrong. Us. Like, yeah. we, that should be, like, a good thing, a exactly. cool thing. It's, that's it what, is yeah, we cool, want people we to want know. to spread that to people and be like, yeah. hey, love your planet. Thank you.